family in Jesus. If you want to follow in your word this morning, we are ending this week with a powerful scripture. A scripture that all of us know. The Lord just laid it on my heart uh, this morning to uh, just read it through with you today again. And, and to show <clears throat> the power of uh, unity with Christ. So if you want to follow in your word this morning, we're going to be reading out of Ephesians 6 from verse 10. A powerful scripture, a scripture that all of us know, um, the armor of God. Amen. And where do we receive the armor of God? We obviously receive it from Jesus. Uh, it's not something that we can make up ourselves. And we cannot effectively um, stay standing in the day and age that we are living in today. With all the spiritual battles around us. If we do not um, clothe ourselves with the, the armor of God. So this morning we're going to see how the Lord brings unity into that. If you want to follow Ephesians 6. From verse 10, excuse me, excuse me, the Bible says, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God, so that you can take stand against the devil's schemes. So, this is a, a, a beautiful piece of truth that uh, the word of God has for us here this morning is that Satan has got no truth in him. So everything that he presents is schemes. Everything. And we, we know through, um, through Ponzi schemes or through um, pyramid schemes here on earth that uh, there's only one guy that wins at the end. And it's the guy that started it. It's, it's a scheme and it's a lie. It deceives people and it, it, it robs you of things. So here we can see a beautiful piece of truth that we must stand up against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. Verse 13. Therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness of <laughs> comes with the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith um, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak the words, um, I may be given, that, that is given me, um, so that I will uh, fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Amen. What a beautiful and powerful uh, piece of scripture to end this week with. This week of uh, unity that the Lord has uh, imprinted into our hearts and our minds, our bodies, our souls and our spirits. And here we can see again that the the armor of God is something that is excessively important. Um, there are so many things that we have to protect. The breastplate that we have to put on protects our hearts. Our hearts belong to Jesus. The breastplate we receive from Jesus. The helmet of salvation um, to, to uh, protect our mind. Because our mind is bombarded. Um, from the, the minute we open our eyes in the morning until we close our eyes again at night, our mind is bombarded with things of this world. 
So we, we, we definitely need that. The shoes for the readiness to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we must always be ready to give someone an answer for the hope that we have in Jesus. Um, the shield that, that uh, we're picking up of faith. Because as the Bible teaches us here, yeah, there are arrows that are flying around um, from, from Satan and uh, the enemy permanently. If we do not have that shield, we, somewhere along the line we're going to be hit. So here we can see again the importance of standing uh, in Jesus, standing with Jesus, being connected um, with Jesus. And uh, he is our master, he is our king. Uh, he goes before us and, and fights the fight for us. Um, we are following him clothed in the armor of God. So what a beautiful uh, piece of scripture to end this week with. Um, to stand firm, uh, clothed with the armor of God in unity. As warriors, brothers and sisters in Christ, we have been called to, to be warriors to defend the kingdom of God to defend the, the word of God, to defend the honor of Jesus Christ. And we can only successfully do that if as the body of Christ we stand together in unity. Amen? Let us pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we worship you this morning for who you are. We thank you for this week that you have given us. We bring you glory, honor, praise, and thanks for you are the one and only living God. You, Father God, created heaven and earth and you created every human and, and placed us in a specific position on this earth, Lord Jesus, to be able to fulfill your will, your plan and your purpose. And we pray, Father God, that with that knowledge in mind that stems out of your word, we pray, Lord, that you will reveal to us what our uh, calling is, what our purpose and our plan is here on earth, Lord that we may effectively and successfully fulfill it. We thank you for another week that you have blessed us with, the gift of life that we have received out of your hands. We just hope and pray that in this week that has passed, Lord, that we have done exactly what you wanted us to do, that we have said exactly what you wanted us to say. So we thank you, Father God, for everything, Lord, for all that you have given us, we love you, we worship you, we bring you glory, honor, praise, and thanks. We pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you, family, in Jesus. Um, another week gone. Uh, whatever we did in this week, hopefully it uh, built up the kingdom of God. Hopefully it encouraged and motivated and edified our neighbor. Hopefully it strengthened us in our relationship with Jesus. Again this morning, I want to extend an invitation to anyone listening uh, to this that has never been to our church before. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, I'm inviting you to come in and join us here. Um, bring your, your Bible with, bring the Word of God with, because here we focus solely on the Word of God. Amen. So um, it's going to be a, a joyful occasion again, coming together in unity as the body of Christ tomorrow. So until that um, time, until we meet again tomorrow here in our church, Blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.